Hey guys, Andy Goblin from Andy Goblin Fishing. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, we will talk everything crappie and everything bass fishing. We give you a lot of tips and tricks that's helped me catch fish for the past 40 years. And we'll also throw in a little bit of uh, tournament coverage. So thanks for tuning in. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Thank you guys very much. Hey guys, in today's video we're going to talk a little bit about buzz bait fishing. I'll show you the equipment that I like to fish it on and the type of baits that I like to fish and a little tip on trailer hooks. Uh, the first thing first is uh, I'll fish mine on a uh, 7 foot, this is a 7 foot impulse Zell Rolling spinner bait rod. As you can see, it's got some tip to it but a lot of backbone. I fish this generally on a 6 3 to 1 casting reel, 20 pound test mono or 20 pound test fluorocarbon line. Doesn't really matter which to me. I get just as good a hook set with the mono as I do a fluorocarbon line. So I generally use the mono and just change it out quite frequently. Uh, the type of buzz bait that I use is just uh, a regular skirted type buzz bait like everybody else is using. And I also use the, uh, this happens to be a Bugsy bait crawl on the back of just a 3 8 ounce buzz bait and you notice in this buzz bait it has a real long hook shank in it i really like this so i don't have to use a trailer hook and this also works good because you have the flat head and the flat bait to skip the bait quite a bit so you can skip it up under dock up under the trees things like that to really help you catch a few more fish this buzz bait here i generally use these in open water any type of equipment like that 3 8 ounce head also the ones I like are kind of a handmade one with the flat head, so it gets up on plane real quick. Here's one of the tips I really wanted to show you on trailer hooks. I carry some trailer hooks in a package with some little plastic keepers. The little plastic keepers that I have, I make them out of just a uh, plastic milk jug carton with a hole punch. As you can see right here, I just punch a hole with a hole punch and that gives me my little keeper. Uh, I generally like to put two of those on just to make sure that I have enough enough to keep the hook from coming off. Uh, I'd say one would probably do it. I just kind of like to use two. just makes me feel better. So the first thing you do, now I use a smaller trailer hook than a lot of guys use. A lot of guys use a 3 and 4 aught. I generally use a 1 aught or a 2 aught depending on you know the size of the hook that's on, on the bait. But I generally prefer a 1 or a 2 more than I do the bigger size hooks. As you can see, this in here happens to be a one aught. So I just take it, slide it right over my hook, just like you do. I take my little keepers that I make, I punch them right in the center. Sometimes they get away from you, you gotta kinda watch. Punch it right in the center. Slide it right over the hook. Reach in here and get me another one. That way I'll be ready to use this bait whenever I want to. Put my second keeper over it. Down and over the barb. And now I have my buzz bait, but I also have my trailer hook that swings. It'll slide up and down. That way it doesn't have any leverage for the fish to come off. Another little tip that I have, I always have trouble storing buzz baits. They're always a headache to try to store. So what I've kind of done is uh, I just put mine in a little baggie. So I take some of them put in here, and i got several of them that I put in the baggies. And uh, another good thing that I really did is I found these store all bags from Plano. As you can see, I wrote buzz bait on it. I can stick all my buzz baits that I'm going to use for the day or the week that I'm out fishing. And they just slide in any little compartment. They got the Ziploc top, which is makes it waterproof and dry. So all my buzz baits stay nice, clean, and dry, and neat, and organized. The other thing I like to do, of course, when I'm using like this trailer, like I said, this happens to be a crawl. Uh, this trailer is made by Bugsy Baits. Uh, when I put it up on, you can see I already have this one put up on. Uh, before I shove it all the way up, I just like to put a drop of glue, shove it up, and that way I'm good to go all day. Like I said, on this bait here, with the longer shank hook in it, I generally don't use a trailer hook. So I kind of like that. 
it makes it skip a lot easier. I uh, hope these tips and tricks help you a little bit. Catch a few more fish on a buzz bait. And uh, thanks for watching. Good fishing, everybody.